What are you doing? I am dehydrating these daggone bananas. She does her banana video. I'm going to be ready. Somebody told me I shouldn't get one of these. She's plugging it in. This is my life. She's plugging it in. Why is there smoke pouring out of the kitchen? <laughs> oh, we got a pile of little bananas. Oh, mercy. Now look at this. I got news for him. Even if he does read the book, I'm not going to listen to what he says. They're stuck to the tray. I read the book. No, I'm not giving you a piece of my banana. What do you want to do with my banana? I'm ready. Bring it on. You don't need to read the book when it's pictured. You need to go back out to Walmart is what you need huh? to do. Look, I did it. You know who's going to end up in the emergency room? Mr. Walmart here. I'm done with this. Done. Zilch. Zippo. We're, as we wing things, we're just going to flip this. 50,000 days later, the banana might be dehydrated. What? Hi everybody, welcome back. Guess what? Guess what I'm doing today? This again, dehydrating. I'm dehydrating. Well, guess what we're doing today? Guess what? Can you guess? I've got these bananas that are starting to get spotty. I thought, self, why don't we make a banana redemption video? I can do this. I know I can do this. I keep the daggone things out of the oven. I bet you I could do this. We're gonna cut up these bananas and hope all goes well. Wish me well. You can't wish me well, can you? Because you're going to see in the next clip or two or three what happened with the bananas. I'm going to insert a little clip of what happened to the bananas the last time I did this right here. My husband and I are eating dinner. He's like, why is there smoke pouring? Why is there smoke pouring out of the kitchen? I went, oh my gosh, the bananas. They're, they're in the oven. I put them in the oven. If, if I can't, as soon as I can't stop laughing. 400 degrees. You have to have patience when you're doing bananas and I don't evidently don't have that. There's my bananas. The poor little guys. No, there's stuff I probably ruined at the end. I guess that's what happens when you try to bake your bananas. I'm gonna try really hard not to put them in the oven. That's my plan. If you saw the video of Rob, he had a um, um, a lock. He put a lock on the breaker so I couldn't use the oven. So she does her banana video. I'm going to be ready. See how this locked on there? Locked in your opposition. You can't turn it on. Burn the house down now. Well, Rob doesn't know I'm doing this, so he won't be putting a breaker on the oven. I'm going to go set this over there. It's falling apart. Let's see. I'm going to set it over there so it's out of the way so I can start cutting up these bananas. I also bought these strawberries two days ago thinking my grandchildren would eat them and they're starting to get moldy a little bit. The ones that aren't full of mold, I'm going to cut up also. Those are going to go in the dehydrator with the bananas if I have enough room. I should just do one banana. That's what I should do. Just one stinking banana just to see how long one banana takes. Like 50,000 days later, the banana might be dehydrated, right? Yeah, banana. They do smell good. And I don't like these tips, so we're cutting the tips off of here. Well, I didn't cut them off. I mushed them off. That's what I did. All right, let's cut the bananas. That's too big. You know what? I got a mandolin slicer at a garage sale because that's just too darn big, so I'll just eat this one. But I got a mandolin slicer. I wonder if I could use it on these bananas because they have to be thin. Maybe. I'm afraid I'm going to cut my fingers. I'm going to go get the mandolin slicer. Just try to cut these bananas. bananas. What? What got going on? Nothing. Doing nothing. Crap. We've been busted. He's been out in the garage all morning. Now he comes in the house. What? I need ice cream. Hi, everybody. Shh, quiet. Michelle thinks I might ever get ice cream out of the freezer, which I am, but I'm also getting something else, too. She bought bananas the other day. Yeah, you know what that means, bananas. These are my electrical tools. These are all my insulated tools for electrical stuff. See this thing here? What that's for? Lock out the breaker on the stove. That's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna take this thing in the house where she's ready to do bananas. I'm locked out the stove. <laughs> he needs ice cream. He's gonna go get some ice cream. Yeah. I should go lock the door. 
let's go lock the door so we can't come in. All right, you walk, you walk to the garage. Let's see. I locked the door up here. See, I locked the door. Lock the door. What? Huh? Can I help you? <laughs> well, my phone. <laughs> yeah, sure you did. I'll throw it out the window. Okay. All right, jeez. Did you want ice cream? No, I can't have milk, remember? Did you want me to have some milk? If you want to. No, we don't need milk. I have a milk allergy. So, I can't have milk. All right, let's start cutting up these bananas. Oh, the mandolin slicer. Well, let's... I'll move you down first. Now, he's got me all flustered. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am dehydrating these daggone bananas. I'm making a banana redemption video. What? What's behind your back? He's got that. He's got that thing on lock. Listen, here's the scoop, dupe. All right. Yes, dear. I, I I'm canning today. I'm I'm gonna do some canning of some green beans today. So you can't lock the stove. He can't lock the stove today because I'm canning green beans. So. Actually, you can. Actually, I can. Why? Because I've got not one, but two propane stoves in Walmart. <laughs> you need to go back out to Walmart is what you need huh? to do. He needs to just go back out. Look at my bananas turning brown. You're interrupting the video. Well, cut faster. Cut faster. All right. Well, go somewhere else. <laughs> go somewhere. I'll go to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart. Walmart. He's going to Walmart. He's he's went in he went in his bedroom where the breaker is. So that's what he's doing. This one's probably too thin, maybe. I have no idea. But here's what we have. Let me show you. Evidently, I can't cut even. That's a problem for me. So I'm gonna go get that slicer and I'll be right. All right. I bought this at a garage sale. This it's this, and then and then this thing, and then some more pieces in here. I don't know what these pieces do. I haven't read the book yet, but here, here's the book. I, ha I do have the book, but it shows a picture. Let me get that out of the way. It shows a picture of the guy holding that thing. You see that thing? How do you put that on a banana? I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how to do that. We're just gonna wing this and see if it works. Oh, hey. Let's see. Oh, now look, I'm making banana mush. Let me get that off of there. Probably should read the book on this, but you know what? Why? Why, why should I read the book? It has a picture. There's a picture. You don't need to read the book when it's pictured. All right, you ready? wonder what those blades are. Okay, let's do this one more time. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Maybe half. Oh, let's let's push down on that thing. Oh, there, it worked. See, I, if I push the banana there and then just do that, I get a slice. But is that slice too big? And it's all sliced up in the middle. Maybe I have the wrong jicama jabi on it. Maybe I have to put another jicama jabi on it. It's got a lot of. How do you put another? Oh wait! I bet this thing comes off. Nope. Oh yep. See, look, it slides right out of there. And then we're gonna put. Let's put this one in there because it doesn't have blades. Let's see. It says something. Thin. This one says thin. Oh, we've got something here. All right. There. All right, I've, I've changed that around, so we're gonna try it again. Cause it says thin, so we're gonna. <gasps> it works, I got thin. Okay, probably gonna cut my arm off. Let's see, let me do this banana. Oh, see, look how thin these are. Look at, it's working, it's working. Here, let me put them on the knife. We're gonna end up in the emergency room today, probably. See the difference in the thin and the thick? Look at that. I figured that out all by myself and I didn't even read the book. All right, let's do some more. Push and slice. Push and slice. Now this banana, oh geez. Hopefully we won't see blood in this video. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> we got a pile 
pile of little bananas. Well, this is just fun. Where has this thing been all my life? Watch the knuckles. Oh, look, you can even go faster. Look, 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 look. This thing is fun. And somebody told me I shouldn't get one of these. Well, guess what? Somebody was wrong because this is fun. My husband's peeking around the corner. Just in case you wondered, he's peeking. Are you concerned what I'm going to be doing? Now we've got that pile, so let's make a new pile. Hey, look what I got here, Rob. This thing is just really cool. And I figured it out without reading the book. We were winging it. Look, it's making a pile of very thin bananas. This is so much easier than cutting all of them. And I'm trying to be careful so we don't end up in the emergency room. Oh, see, that one broke. Darn it. Oh, yep. Where's the ether little handle thingy on here? Well, there's a handle, yes. But how do you put a banana on that thing? You can't put a banana on that thing. Maybe a tomato or an onion. Maybe I could dehydrate onions next. Not like that. Uh, no, I'm not using that thing when I could just use my hand. Take the risk. When I get short, you put that one in there. Wonder if you could use strawberries. Probably not. Oh, see, now I'm getting short. Oh, I'm gonna give this one to the dog later, maybe, or eat it. See, this banana broke, so I'm a little concerned. Use your book hat. What? Is Where's your, where's your book at? He reads the books. I don't read the book. Listen. I read the book. You're going to make me cut my fingers. Okay, I got to stop because now we're getting... Oh, look at this. Look what we got. They're all the same. Yeah, there. Look, they're all the same. This was a good garage sale purchase. They almost gave it away and they said we never used the thing because we were afraid that we'd cut our fingers. You have to be a rebel like me, I guess. He's over there. Look, can you see him? He's over there reading the book. Listen, I got news for him. Even if he does read the book, I'm not going to listen to what he says. I'm reading both sides, He's... Spanish and English. Well, <laughs> he can't even speak Spanish. Good luck with that. Good luck with that one. But I can read it. <laughs> you can read it, but do you understand it? Well. Nope, he doesn't. This is going to be done by the time he reads that book, you know. It will be done. How thick do you want to put these things? How thick do you? Well, I'm putting them this thick, where it says thin. I'm doing the thin. Sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth of an inch. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I have to move because thick we have slices are a quarter of an inch. Okay. Well, that's good to know. There's one stuck. Looky there. That worked like a dream. Like a dream. Now we have to do some some stuff so they don't turn brown. Okay, and I've got this fruit fresh that we're going to use that I'm going to read the directions on this because last time I just sprinkled it on there. And why can't you just do that? I, I'm going to read these directions. What's it say? There, see, you know why I just sprinkled it on there last video? Because there's no directions on this bottle. None. Nada. But I heard that it, you need to put some in the water. Don't know how much, so we're gonna do that, okay? Watch, we're gonna do that. Just for all of you that said, Michelle, you need to dip it, in, dip it in the water. I'm gonna dip it in the water. I hope it doesn't break my bananas. No, I'm not giving you a piece of my banana. What do you wanna do with my banana? He wants a piece of banana. Okay, here. That's really not big enough. He's gonna, oh. you know who's gonna end up in the, emergency room mr walmart here all right so we're going to add some cold water don't know if it should be warm or cold but we're adding water i just added some do you see him over here he's got a banana in that thing just the tip of the banana how do you get a whole banana in there that was my question all right here we go fruit fresh in here about this much because i really don't know how much to do and we're gonna, what are we gonna do? My silver red door's right here, real close. We're gonna put, that one looks like he's browning. We're gonna just put those in there. I'm gonna get them out there. I'm just gonna put them all in there. Yep. They're all going in there. They're not breaking. That's a good thing. They're, they're starting to turn a little brown, so let's get these over here. Come here, he, Mace. He, what? He's feeding, he's feeding the dog bananas. See? I can't tilt too much because the uh the water will dump out so for all of you that said i needed to do it like this i'm doing it like this but i don't know how much fruit fresh to add in this bowl i imagine this was enough the hydrator trays let me clean up my mess here and get the hydrator trays 
You missed it. He's giving me instructions now on how to use that handle thing. I read the book. I read the book. I read the book. Well, I'm really glad he read the book. Let's get these out of here. How am I going to get them out of here? I'll have to think. One by one. I guess I'm going to pick them out of this. One by one. All right. Anybody have a better idea of getting these daggone bananas out of here? Let me know. Because there's oh geez. I wonder if I can get a little handful and just spread them around without mushing them. Let's try that. So like I said, we're going to uh, we're gonna what are we doing? Are we gonna, oh green beans. I'm canning green beans today. So that should be fun. I don't think I'm going to video that. I'm sorry, you're gonna miss that. But listen, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do next. I've got these onions that I wanted to hydrate. And oh those onions in the dehydrator. Those will go in the garage. Those smell terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. But I do like the onion powder. The onion powder is very good. Oh, it's taking forever and ever. Did you put that lock on the on the breaker? No, I did not. Thank you. I need to use the stove today. As long as the uh, dehydrator is running, I won't lock the, <laughs> the stove out. The minute it quits, I'm putting the lock on. Yep. So you know what that tells me is if I put them in the oven, just leave the dehydrator. Just leave it running and plugged in. They'll never know. Until smoke comes out. <laughs> There's ways around things. There's ways around things. I'm the queen of figuring things out. You gotta think outside the box. Winging it, in, in other words. We? We what? Wing it. Oh, we do. We wing it. We, he hates winging things. He just absolutely, he's not a winger. He has to know because he has to process. He needs to, I do need to process too. But there's some times that you just have to wing things to get through life. He is not that person. All right, we are done. Done. Over here. I'm going over here now. Because this is where I like to dehydrate things. Setting you down. There's going to be a clunk. Clunk. I'm going to put this on the bottom. All right. Do that on the bottom. I'm going to go cut up the strawberries, but I'm not going to film that. Sorry, you're going to miss that part. But I'm going to start this here. Great setting. 135. 135. Plugging this baby in. Oh, good God. This is my life. She's plugging it in. This is my life. She's plugging it in. <sighs> He's ready, I guess. I'm ready. Bring it on. You need to... <laughs> I can't with him. I really can't. <laughs> I'm prepared. He's prepared. He's prepared. Yes, he is. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we're going to let these run and I'm going to go cut up the strawberries and add those trays because you have to run all your trays when you dehydrate. Yes. I'll be watching. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's my life. All right. We'll be back to check on these in a couple hours. I don't know. Or maybe a week. I, I have no idea. Stay tuned. See if I put these suckers in the oven. He's ready. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. I'm back just for a quick second. Look at these strawberries. They're all this size and it's working. Of course, my dog is in the Here, my dog. Look at this. It's very easy and I'm not putting these in that fruit fresh stuff. Oh, that one hit the floor. But look how easy this is. Holy cow, where's that slicer been all my life? Wow. These are all cut the same size. Let's fill this tray. Oh, never right. Wait, come on. Come on, Michelle. What is the problem here? Oh, I did it the wrong way. Dang on it. You know what? I probably have all those in there the wrong way, too. These little things grew. I should have paid attention to these before I put the bananas in there. Probably should have done that. I might be flipping over strawberries. I probably should, hold on, let me go check which way them things are going. 
Well, of course, they're all going down. So these strawberries need to be on the other side of the tray. So we're as we wing things, we're just going to flip this. And that didn't work too bad. We only lost one or two. I just have to reposition the strawberries now. But pay attention to that before you, before you put your food in because that matters. That does matter. But as you see, I flipped them over and it was fine. I'm going to finish cutting these up and I'll uh, put them in the dehydrator. I just wanted you to see that you could do strawberries too. And I bet you I could do my hot peppers like this and get little rings instead of sitting there just cutting them. Well, actually, I'm not the one sitting there cutting them raw is. But I'm going to stick these in with the bananas and I'll be back in a couple of hours. Everybody, well, it's the next day. Yippee! These bananas have been in there almost 24 hours. Almost 24 hours. Wow. Oh, one fell off. Oh, gee, one fell off. One easier for me not to pick off. As you can see, they're stuck to the tray. I think they're done. I did it. I did it. See? Look. I did it. Look. I did it. Look. I did it. Ah, oh, jeez. My camera. See this piece? The daggone thing falls off my camera all the time. All right, all the time. But I think they're done. Look at that. They're crispy. Look at this. I had to pick them all off. So I've got tiny pieces and I've got a few that stayed together and they're really thin. Can you see how thin they are? Let me move you over. See how thin they are? They're paper thin. Oh, mercy. Now look at this. I've got my cat. The cat is wanting to get the lens cap that's attached to the camera. I can't win on this banana video. I can't win. Strawberries. I think I'm going to save these for like muffins. I'm not going to eat these. I don't like to eat just strawberries. Not very many. I, I just like them in things. Let me fix my camera. Yeah, real life here folks. This is real life. This is ridiculous. Let's see. Boom. Okay, there we go. I fixed the camera. Will I ever make bananas again in my entire life? No, I won't. I'm done with this. Done. Zilch. Zippo. Finish. Finito. Exit. We're exiting stage right on the bananas or stage left or whatever stage there is to leave. Whatever side you leave on. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I hope you enjoyed the video. How to dehydrate bananas, strawberries, whatever you want to call it. I'm done with it. I'm over it. Bananas. Nope. Never again, bananas. Never again. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.